really, really daring. I think he's really, really smart. He has a style, he has a language, and people hear it. Watch him on stage, there's something magical going on. It's self-evident. There's a very strong presence, you know, we feel very centered. Here is the human body placed into the position of a planet that is spinning on its own axis that could drift very completely out of its orbit and cause some asteroid collision. Akram is, is not just a choreographer, he's an extremely gifted dancer. I don't think he's ego-driven in that he wants himself to be the centre of attention. There's something burning, isn't there? Smouldering and, and it's like a Vesuvius is something that could just erupt and you see it in its dance. Neither he knew nor I knew that what is he's, go he's going to be. Neither did the rest of the world until a few years ago when Akram Khan began his meteoric rise to stardom. The British Bangladeshi is one of the country's most talented choreographers and I think one of the most original dancers in the world. His speciality is Katak, a dance form that began in northern India 1,200 years ago. It's a precise art, demanding grueling practice every day, something Akram's done religiously for 30 years. But never one to be confined to a box, Akram has chosen to mix the classical style with his own form of contemporary dance and with impressive results. Akram's unorthodox approach has prompted his spectacular rise in the dance world and attracted some high-profile and surprising collaborators. Kylie Minogue, Sylvie Guillen. The most recent and most surprising is French Oscar-winning actress Juliette Binoche. On stage and screen, her exceptional talent has the public crying out for more. But as she would be the first to admit, she's a newcomer to dance. And Akram, taking the risk of his life, has just seven months to train Juliet to move. It's okay, keep on going, there's no mistake. A feat in itself, but the actress must also be brave enough to dance with him in front of a National Theatre's discerning audience. Why are you breaking up with me? And Akram, for his part, will attempt to absorb you. some of Juliet's natural talent for acting. Be alive, be here! I am here! No, I am not. here, can't you see I'm here? I'm sitting here with you! I'm taking your shit! Will they take the national by storm with their audacious experiment in dance theatre? Or will their relationship be stretched to breaking point in their attempt to break new ground? Whatever. I've decided to follow their progress, to try to discover what made this daring choreographer put his career on the line with a novice dancer who just happens to be one of the world's most famous and celebrated actresses. Paris, city of culture, haute couture and art, and also the venue for the start of Akram and Juliet's big adventure. I've been invited along, but I'm not quite sure where they are. It appears to be just a rehearsal space in somewhere in the suburbs of Paris. Just found it here. It's right off the map of Paris, so it's a long way off. I'm expecting the discreet rehearsal space to be somewhere suitably chic for France's first lady of cinema. But then again, maybe not. It's a February morning and the first day of rehearsals. Akram's alone, waiting for Juliet and her acting coach, Susan Batson, to arrive. My biggest fear is that I'm afraid. That's my fear. Um, very excited. Uh, or maybe that's rubbish. Maybe I'm actually very scared. Um, 
but it's the best place I like to be. It's the need not to show that I am daring, but it's the need to be in the unknown. And I think it's the fuel for the artists that I work with. I think it is important that we like each other. Um, but I think it's more important that we respect each other. Hello. <laughs> Keen to know her co-star better, Juliet has brought along Susan Batson. The American acting coach motivates the Hollywood A-list to live their characters' lives on stage rather than just act them. <laughs> How are you? Good, good. You have a cold? Um, the end of it. Okay, so the attempt today is just to find um, the relationship between the two of you and just sort of enjoy the exploration of that. Susan's unorthodox methods can be more like therapy than acting instruction, and dancing for now is strictly off the agenda. I'm, I'm, I'm not going to call it that. Okay. <laughs> uh, <laughs> are you worried? Yeah. Oh, that's good. That's How is it? How good? <laughs> that's, that's, I'm full that's, of worry. That's good. Okay, we're going to go back and forth, and it's an exchange of I am, okay? I'm careful. I'm wild. I'm controlled. I'm a little baby. I'm not a father. I'm a mother. I'm a baby. <laughs> I'm a player. In acting, and I think in, in art, you, there's something about uh, uh, knowing yourself and letting, letting go. And it's, uh, it has to go with trust, it has to go with the facing the fear, it has to go with the wishing, with never again, with all those layers that we, as human beings, go through. And as an artist, you've got, you've got to reach those moments, because otherwise there's never a rising. When I arrive, Susan's building the intimacy, asking for real emotion rather than acting. Here, Juliet's comforting her scared child, who's praying for help. Okay. Are you hanging your head in shame? Yes. Yes. Another form of bullshit. Another, another Take two bullshit. bullshit. Yeah. But allow him his experience, okay. and you have okay, okay, your okay. experience. Okay. So it's worth just stopping and waiting instead of just acting, acting, acting. I, I feel for him because as actors, that's what you go through. You have to reach those points to the unknown, to the another layer. Respire, respire, respire. <sighs> come, 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 come. Come, 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 come. It's a whole different world for him, so it feels like every four hours there's <laughs> a huge mountain coming in front of him. And I will have those moments, <laughs> you know, in a different way soon. Bye, guys. We were really bullshitting. Uh, if you saw what happened this morning, you could feel the difference between truth and bullshit, so... Uh, you know, Susan picks up on bullshit like a, like anything. She's got this smell. She can smell it like hundred miles away. The second you start, you're like, you can smell. You can smell her smelling you. That's how it feels. The worst that could happen in this project is that we don't stay as committed as we made each other believe that we wanted to be. That's the worst that can happen to any project, that you don't commit 100%, and you don't stay with it in hard times and good times. It's like a relationship for me. I don't go out. I stay in the room. Uh, I read my book, or I'm on the phone, or I'm sleeping. I feel it's a very lonely thing. I never had truly 
my own home. Up till 31, I was with my parents. Then I got married and I thought, we need a place. But having a home is more than just bricks and mortar for Accra. I do feel British and I do feel Bangladeshi, but I don't... I, you know, when I'm in London, I realise how Bangladeshi I am. When I'm in Bangladesh, I, real, I realise they make me feel very British. Uh, and so, wh where do I... Uh, so where is my home? The theme of missing home inspired Akram's work, Bahok, set in the no-man's land of a departure lounge. That's Akram's wife, is taking these rehearsals while Akram is working with Juliet. Chanel is from South Africa, and the other dancers represent Slovakia, China, India, South Korea, and Spain. With Bahok means carrier, and they're all carrying those traditions, that culture with them. Yes, everything is in his passport. Check it. It's wherever all the papers are with it. I'm not getting upset. Look, I, I, I feel like I'm doing your job for you. You have ticket. Ticket to go back. back. Yes. Back. Uh, Terminator. Just time. Uh, I like a Terminator. Akram encouraged the performers to use their own experiences and style of dance to convey the theme that home ends up being the traditions and stories we carry with us. He choreographed Bahok, but doesn't star in it. It's the first time I'm not in it. And it was really a test because uh, for me it was about um, being free. So you have to cut the umbilical cord. This is unusual for us because it's the first time that Akram's not been with the company on a premiere. And, uh, and so uh, myself and uh, Chanel, who's the rehearsal director, have helped to kind of put the piece into shape, give the dancers notes, and we believe in this piece. Back in Paris, it's the start of another rehearsal day. With accusations of bullshit still ringing in his ears, Akram wonders why he can't deliver a more honest performance. Because I'm not letting go yet. Excuse me, I'm what? not letting go yet. I'm You're not, not letting go? I'm not, uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I'm not just saying it without thinking. I'm yeah, thinking too much. Yeah, you're thinking. That's right. To help Akram stop thinking and start feeling, Susan gets Juliet to remember a traumatic childhood event. The hope is that drawing on personal experience will help them find a narrative for the work. Um, I chose a moment when I think I was around five. I hadn't seen my mother for a while. Yeah. I was with my sister and I was waiting for my mother to come. Right. Speak to it. Okay. <laughs> And I was running, running, running to go and see her. Right. And I remember running in this garden, crossing uh, my grandmother's garden. Right. In order to go and see her, my mother that I hadn't seen for months. What did you need? What <gasps> I need to see her, embrace her, and be with her. Good, good. Uh, now it's Akram's turn. He describes being in a headmaster's office with his parents after failing an exam. Uh, just uh, lots of books. And the more books there were, the more I felt I was stupid. You want to accept yeah. speak from that little boy that's feeling very, very stupid? I wanted to say I don't give a fuck. Are you aware how painful it is for the little guy? Uh, it's funny, I can't tap into it. It's not like you're devoid of the feelings. Or yeah. It's yeah. just that you lift it into your head. Yeah. The point now is how can we take some of this stuff and lift it into movement and yeah. to make it come alive? 
everything that you wanted to say that you didn't say. I'm better than you think I am. There you are. I'm better than you think I am. There you go. I'm better than you think I am. That's I am better than you think I am. I am better than you think I am. I am better. I am better than you think I am. That's right. You don't think I'm better? I am better. Yeah. I am better than you think I am. I'm better than you. Yeah, I am better than you. Yeah. I am better. I'm OK. <laughs> I'm OK. On the fourth wall. Fourth wall. I am OK. Yeah. I'm fine. Yeah. I'm fine. He is willing to go there, even though there is maybe a, a block here or, a, or something, a path has not yet been open, as open, let's say, as Juliet. Not many actors are as open as Juliet. I don't, I don't care. care. I don't care. God, I don't care. I feel in charge of his emotional world. I, you know, I feel like I'm not going to let him go with, you know, he has to be connected. And, and that's why he wanted to, to work with me. To encourage Akram to reveal his emotions, Susan asks him to practice switching moods in an improvisation with Juliet about a relationship breaking up. Enough! Can you hear me? How can you be normal? How can you just fucking scream and then be normal? <laughs> what happened? What are you talking about? <laughs> you find this funny? No! No, it's not funny. Is this funny to you? No, but then it's... Then why the fuck did you laugh? No, but it's, it's, it's not a tragedy either. <laughs> it's a breakthrough. Akram and Juliet have finally found their story. OK. We knew the theme somehow, which was, you know, about love. What is love? Why, why do Greeks have 14 names for love? It's when you have crisis, conflict, that you suddenly realize what is love, <laughs> or might be love. Okay. Now the theme and emotional pitch have been set, Akram's ready to start exploring the subject in dance. Just move, man. We'll just connect with hands. So always think of the opposite. Just improvise with me. It doesn't matter if it's different. But Juliet's worried about being choreographed. I am not a dancer. I'll never be a dancer. Where am I in all this? And if, we, if I'm thinking you're the choreographer, I feel like, OK, this is not my body, actually. This is a tool to, have, to go for a vision, to go for a, you know, an exploration of that you want. No, no. I, I think in the dance part of it, I think you will contribute. But in truth, you have to say he's choreographed a couple of pieces. He knows what he's doing. More than a couple. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it kills you. Yeah. <laughs> no, I said it deliberately. Now these differences have been exposed, Akram's heading back to London to reflect on them. It will be like an explosion against Juliet and I. If it's not clarified now, all respect to Susan from my point of view that she, she brought it up and she said he is a choreographer. Otherwise, uh, if Juliet can just dance the way she dances and that's it, then there's, there's, then why am I there? Well, he's so good at his craft, I'm good at my craft, but it's how do we combine the two? When I have to work the outside, the movement and all that, it's, uh, I feel like it's very frustrating. Akram's not used to his choreography being questioned. He's been capturing his audience's attention for the last 30 years. When Akram was nearly three years old, his auntie said to me, sister-in-law, sister-in-law, look, Akram can actually do the footstep with the rhythm. Then I was really surprised, is it? And uh, within a week, he learned really quite uh, footsteps and can memorize the whole song. And I uh, taught him a dance, complete dance. Then we went to a party and everybody claps. That's why he wants to do it again and again. He loved dancing. <laughs> Greek 
Growing up in Bangladesh, Akram's mother was a keen dancer herself, but as she got older, she was forbidden to perform in public. You know, I learned dancing, but I wasn't allowed to do dance outside. Do you know Muslim community, they don't like girls will dance. And it was very sad because I think I was talented, but I couldn't show it to the people. Then I promised myself, oh, my son has got the talent at least, then I should impose that. I had a huge problem with concentration. Uh, as a child, I couldn't sit down and be still. I was moving all the time. And so when, when I saw Thriller by Michael Jackson, that changed my life. But, you know, we had these old video cassettes, and she bought me Thriller, because I saw it once and I was completely terrified of it. But the dancing part, I forgot the terror. Once the dancing part began, I started copying. And so uh, this video cassette got worn out. I didn't think at that time he is going to take the dance life as a career. But definitely, I was quite sure in my mind he has to complete his dance lesson. And not just any class would do. Anwara Khan wanted her son to learn the ancient art of Kathak. It's said to have originated in the temples of North India around the 8th or 9th century. The word kata means story in Hindi, and a Kathak dancer must convey stories in gestures and sign language. This is the tiger gesture. Another animal, a deer. Picturing a bee, the right hand hovers and buzzes and worries over the left hand, which is a lotus flower. Although the storytelling is firmly rooted in the Hindu epics of the Mahabharata and Ramayana, Katak also has an Islamic influence, dating back to performances in the Mughal courts. From the age of seven, Akram was sent to Britain's master Katak teacher, Sri Pratap Pawar. Akram's technique was very strong. And he was a very quiet boy, but what I gradually saw that whatever I teach in the class, the other students go and come back for the next class, but he will go and work. So he'll bring it ready next week. So gradually I started visualizing that this boy is serious about it. Akram's dedication paid off. He got his first big break at the age of 10, playing Mowgli in the Academy of Indian Dancers production of Jungle Book. Next for Akram, came Peter Brook's acclaimed version of the Mahabharata. Bring the table back through to the end. He was plucked from obscurity out of dozens of children and went on to do a world tour. She was very worried at that time because she never, you know, children always with her, you know, and she will miss a long time. It was very hard for me to not to see Akram for two years. The teenage Akram briefly became a movie star when Peter Brook's version of the Mahabharata epic was made into a TV film. You must pay me for my lessons. Ask what you wish. I owe you everything. Give me the thumb of your right hand. Here it is. The schoolboy's budding TV career was sweet but short-lived because his unique talent for dance took precedence. Pratap Pawar took the remarkable decision to make Akram his only disciple and became his guru. In my whole entire career of 50 years on stage, this only boy, I have taken him as my shagird. That time neither he knew nor I knew that what is he's, go he's going to be. Akram took his classical training seriously, but went on to study contemporary dance at university. Combining the two styles became his forte, and he went on to create this piece, Loose in Flight. It brought the young dancer to the attention of producer Farooq Chowdhury. I sat there and my jaw dropped. It was unbelievable. I mean, 
I, just, I knew he was good, but I didn't know he was that good. And I think that was a real defining moment when we felt that, you know, we're going to go somewhere with this. Four weeks into rehearsals, Juliet's trainer, Suman Su, is checking on her physical progress. Suman has been working with the star for over a year and was the one who first encouraged...